Welcome back, Flight Simmers. Managing add-ons in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 can seem tricky, especially with the changes to the marketplace. In this video, I'll show you how to enable, disable, and download your add-ons like a pro. While the marketplace is currently closed, this video will prepare you for when it opens in the future. And if you're watching from the future, this is your go-to future-proof guide, so let's get started. First, let's talk about enabling your MSFS 2020 add-ons in MSFS 2024. By default, these add-ons appear disabled to prevent compatibility issues. Here's how to enable them. Open up the Marketplace and navigate to the My Library tab. Find the add-on you want to enable. Simply click the item or use the check mark on the lower left side of the product image to select multiple add-ons at once. Click Enable to activate them. The add-on will be ready the next time you launch the sim. If you're missing some items, make a habit of checking your My Library tab periodically for missing items that may become available over time as Microsoft and the developers sign off on them. The same process will apply to MSFS 2020 sceneries once they've been approved for use in MSFS 2024. Now let's talk about managing conflicts with third-party add-ons. For instance, if you purchase Flight Beam's KSFO San Francisco Captain's Edition, you'll want to disable the default handcrafted KSFO airport to avoid any visual glitches or overlap. Here's how to disable default scenery. Again, go back to your My Library tab in the Marketplace. Use the search tool to find the default airport, either by its name or ICAO code, for example, KSFO. The search tool also looks through subfolders, including world and city updates, where some default sceneries may be grouped. Click on the item or select multiple items with a check mark, then click Disable. Alternatively, you can use the keybind displayed on screen for quicker management. The changes will take effect after you restart the sim. Another important feature in MSFS 2024 is the ability to download add-ons instead of streaming them. This is a great way to improve performance and reduce load times. Again, you're going to go to the same area inside of your My Library tab, click on the item, and then either in the More Options or there will be a separate button there to show the install. You can already see the size of the install, but we don't have the option to install them yet, but we will down the road. But here's my advice. Download aircraft that you fly frequently. This ensures smoother performance and fewer interruptions. For airports, only download those you visit often. If you're exploring globally, it's better to leave them streamed to save disk space. Don't forget to set up a rolling cache in your settings to optimize loading times for areas you revisit frequently. Before wrapping up, here's a tip I've learned the hard way. I prefer buying add-ons from third-party shops like Contrail instead of the in-game marketplace. Why? Marketplace purchases can sometimes become unavailable during major updates. Updates to add-ons are often delayed due to Microsoft's release schedule and red tape, which can leave you stuck if there's a game-breaking bug. With Contrail, updates are faster, support is more reliable, and you're not tied to the Marketplace red tape. Plus, right now, you can get 10% off your next purchase with my coupon code. Check the description below for details. And that's it for today's tutorial. Whether you're enabling add-ons, disabling default scenery, or deciding whether to download or stream, you now have tools to manage your MSFS 2024 setup like a pro. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the thanks button to support the channel. And if you like this video, I have some others just like it right here. Check them out. I'll see you in the next one. Safe flights.